Next on the docket is a minute for mission from Dr. David Staniunas from the Presbyterian Historical Society in Philadelphia. David, Thank you, moderator. You I'm right yes, here. Thank you. Great. Greetings, friends in Cascades Presbytery. Uh, I hesitate to correct the moderator. I am not a doctor of any description, I'm afraid. Oh. I'm just one of your archivists. I'm here to give you the good news from Philadelphia. Uh, if you don't know us already, we are the National Archives of the Peace USA. Uh, we hold more than 30, oh, we've got a slide. Go ahead. We hold more than 36,000 cubic feet of original archival material um, from congregations, mid councils, uh, and national agency offices going back to the very first presbytery meeting uh, held in Philadelphia in 1706 uh, by a group of learned gentlemen just styled as the presbytery, a group not too dissimilar from you. Um, I suppose what I'd like to do is uh, recap some of the stuff that we've always done and then tell you a little bit about some of the stuff that were um, that's new for us. Um, so the chief thing that we do for congregations is we hold original records on deposit. Um, so if you are in possession of a big run of session minutes and registers that might be in um, less than stellar storage conditions in a basement or an attic, and you don't refer to them very frequently, we are the repository for those things. We can serve you that way. We also digitize records for congregations. Um, we do something on the order of 100,000 pages of imaging every year. Um, the bulk of that is for individual congregations. Um, we also answer questions from the general public and from uh, all of American Presbyterianism uh, spread across the country um, to the tune of about 3,000 reference inquiries every year. And we have a team of five people specifically dedicated to telling people things about Presbyterians. So that's kind of what we do sort of writ large. Um, the conditions that obtain under COVID and in the wake of uh, the massive uprising um, against police killings in this country in 2020 have led us to change some things about the way this, that we do business just to meet the needs of the moment. Um, and one of those things is that we have gone and hand curated and selected available online content um, and incorporated that into our digital collections. One of the collections we did was a body of worship services in the first Easter under COVID. Um, another, which I'm more proud of <laughs> actually, is the Black Lives Matter video collection. This is a body of more than a hundred videos from around the country taken um, really spanning 2015 to 2021 um, recording Presbyterians engagement with uh, and alongside the Black Lives Matter movement. We have also part of the digitization work that we've done in the past year has been in support of the General Assembly's Special Committee on Racism, Truth and Reconciliation. And those are gathered into, forgive me everybody, I'm just dropping stuff in the chat if you can't see it. Um, and that also is in our digital collections as the SCRTR collection. Um, and then finally, over the course of the past four years, uh, with Katie, it was much more than that. Um, over the course of the past five years, um, me and other people uh, on staff did work with Katie Geneva Cannon and her family, beginning when she was still with us, um, to try and get at least a portion of her personal papers here. Katie, of course, passed in 2018, and in 2020, um, it was our pleasure to welcome a portion of Katie's records here. The other two portions are at uh, Union Seminary in New York and Union Seminary in Richmond. Um, and we have spent the better part of a year and a half digitizing those two collections um, so that we could finally unite all three groups into one digital archive. And so the first parts of that um, are available online um, in our digital collections is the Katie Geneva Cannon Digital Archive. Um, so that's a little bit about what we've always done and a little bit about the things that were um, the ways that we're trying to reshape 
your national archives. I'll stick around in chat in case anybody wants to send questions and I'm gonna drop my email address into the chat as well. And thank you moderator for your time. Thank you very much for being with us this afternoon. There is a, a comment or a question from David Smith. Hello, uh, Madam Moderator. Um, yes. My name is David Smith. I'm uh, the delegate from Nestucca Valley Presbyterian Church, but I was a member of the St. Mark congregation from 1974 until we closed the doors in 2018. And um, I, I would make a plea um, in support of the Historical Society um that uh, my experience at St. Mark after having been on session for about 22 years total um we found out that um a uh, an individual in the congregation trying to neaten things up um bundled up decades of session minutes with a ribbon and put them in a closet. Um, and at some point they were considered to be um, trash and they were disposed of. So there, the St. Mark congregation, which is on the trustees agenda item to sell the property because our congregation no longer exists um, has a significant fraction of its history that is no longer available to the Presbyterian Historical Society. And for that, I am um, profoundly saddened. And I would ask all of the delegates here that if you have records that should be stored in our connectional church records please do so because you never know what might happen to them thank you madam moderator so david smith thank you for your comments and david stan Eunice, if you're still with us thank you so much for being with us and telling us more about the presbyterian historical